Hi everyone, my name is Michaela and I went to two different estate sales recently and there was some amazing prices and some really cool stuff. I cannot wait to show you what I got. So if you want to see what all I picked up recently, then let's just get going. So something cool about these estate sales is both of them were ran by the same woman. She does them locally in my area and she sells things by the box, excluding big pieces of course. She will put like a whole bunch of things in one box and say the whole box is $10 or the whole box is five dollars you know whatever the prices are but it just ends up being a really really good price for things and the first thing that i got so i'm going to do it by the box so this whole box that i'm about to show you was ten dollars so the first thing in the box is this teapot um it feels like it's very asian inspired to me it has this thing in the bottom like this little cup here and so I'm wondering if this has something to do with warming it. Maybe you put a candle and it like keeps it warm. I'm not sure. But this thing is absolutely beautiful. I love this so much. Um, and then the bottom of it says made in Japan. So I wanted to use my Google Lens and do a little bit of research on this. But this also came with all the cups. So let me get those. So it came with six cups and they are also very very beautiful i love the design on them and they have that same japan stamp on the bottom i don't know that i will actually be using these i do drink tea and i enjoy drinking tea but um it's so pretty i think i just want to decorate with it because it's it's just a beautiful piece i also i love asian inspired things i love asian things i watch a lot of k-dramas and Japanese dramas and Chinese dramas, Thai dramas, and Turkish. So I really enjoy those. I actually rarely watch American television. I didn't more mostly enjoy the Asian shows or the Turkish shows. Their stories are just better and everything about them is better in my opinion. But I was excited to find some more Asian inspired pieces to put in my house because they're so, so beautiful. Okay, the next thing in that same box is this cookie jar or canister. I love this vintage color. The design on the front is so, so pretty. It's got a lid and it is a large one. Um, this is what the bottom looks like. I don't see markings or anything like that, but there is a bit of a funny story with this one. I opened it up, you know, cause I wanted to look inside of course to make sure there was no chips or anything like that. And it still had cookies in it. so. Um, the woman that runs these estate sales, she is super kind and we were just laughing with her and we were like, there's still cookies in there. And she was like, I'm so sorry. So she, she ran over there and was like dumping out the cookies, but somebody used this to put cookies in and they look like they were sugar cookies. So it kind of made me want to bake. But anyways, this canister was also in that box. The next thing in that same box was another teapot. And this one is so unique and special. I have to show you the lid to this. It actually has a little tea party on top as the lid. Look at that. It's got a newspaper, the teapot, some bread, and the teacups. And it just sits on there, a little tea party on top of a teapot. How cute is that? It actually makes me want to go and have like a picnic outside with tea or something. I'm sure either one of my nieces would love to do that with me but again i'm probably just going to decorate with this because that is so unique and so cute oh i'm so i was so excited to find these as soon as i seen the box of stuff i was like oh. i told my husband i was like let's start let's start a pile over there in the corner because <laughs> this lady had some really really cute things okay so the next thing in that same box is this picture this is definitely vintage. Um, it looks similar to one that I think my mom has. Um, and I think it was from my great grandma. I don't see a marking on the bottom, but it's a decent size. Probably not half a gallon, maybe, maybe like a quart or, or a quart and a half, maybe. I don't know. I don't think it's half a gallon though, but, um, it's very heavy and sturdy. And I was actually shopping for a glass pitcher recently on Amazon to fill up my water filter. We have a water filter on our counter and um, it's nice to have a pitcher there to fill it up. We've been using a half gallon mason jar, <laughs> but it's actually nicer to have a pitcher with a handle. So I was so excited that this was in that box because now I can use this to fill up my water filter. 
Okay, so I believe that was everything in that first box. It was all $10. So if you do it by pieces, that would be about $2.50 a piece. Um, but that is very, very cheap for the teapot and the tea set that had all the cups with it. So great, great deal. And all of the stuff was in very good condition, not even a chip on any of them. So the next box um, was at a different estate sale, but um, it's the same lady, so sold by the box. And I believe everything in it was $5. I still cannot believe the, pr the prices were so cheap. So the first piece that I got is this. And this made me think of something that would be perfect for Thanksgiving or decorating for fall. Um, the back of it says Holland Mold. I don't know a lot about brands, but I'll probably look it up. And it says, give us this day our daily bread. So that that is really, really special. It's from the Bible and it just looks so fall inspired. So I love finding something that I can use for fall slash Thanksgiving to decorate with that is from thrifting and it's a really great price. So in that same box is this was this green tray. Um, I've seen these before. Um, my, I believe my granny might have had one, but um, it has four small slots here and then a big slot here and then these two handles on the side. So this is really, really pretty. I don't know if I'm going to use this for food. I also thought about using it in my room and separating jewelry in it. So just because it's a food container doesn't mean you have to use it for food. <laughs> Um, and I don't see any markings on the bottom. I'm sure I can look it up on Google Lens and find more about it. But this piece is very heavy. You can tell it's really good quality. And I do believe it is an older piece. But I love this so much. I love the little fruit designs on it. Oh, I just, I can't believe I found all these amazing things recently. I have been so excited to share this haul with all of you. Oh my goodness, I was just imagining how much I'm going to be geeking out in this video. <laughs> over all the pieces that I have found. So we're still in that same box that was $5 and it is another really big tray. It's green, has these dividers here and then this in the middle. I wonder if this could be like for chips and dip maybe, possibly. Um, but it's also really heavy. It has absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, I don't see any markings on the bottom. This is one I'll have to look up online, but I really love this vintage green color that you see a lot in older pieces. Um, and again, like I can use this for food or I could use it for jewelry or even decorating because it is big and it's very pretty and I think it will be a lovely accent piece on anything that I decide to decorate with. So another really nice piece in that same box. And then... I also got this tray. It has a flower design here and here. This has a little bit of scratching on it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's nothing bad. Um, and it has little feet on the bottom. They're just really small. But I don't know what I use this for either. I could decorate with it or I could put something on top of it. I'm not sure yet. If you have any ideas for how I could decorate with any of this stuff, I would love for you to comment and tell me your ideas. I love getting ideas from you guys because I actually, I actually take them into consideration. One of you were telling me about decorating and that if you did things in odd numbers versus even numbers it would turn out looking better so i actually tried that up on my kitchen wall i'll do a little clip of it so you can see it but i took your advice and you were so right it looks so much better since i changed it out i had six pieces now i have seven and it just looks more satisfying so thank you so much to the person who commented that i do not share anyone's name on here because i don't want to um invade your privacy or anything like that but unless you approve it first so anyways you know who you are you told me that clip <laughs> you told me that tip thank you so much for sharing that it really did help but anyways we got this piece here with the flowers on it and again this is all still in that same box for five dollars and I do want to point out too I went through these so I always wash everything usually before I share it just because where I get my secondhand stuff a lot of times it's dusty and it's dirty sometimes it's even smelly <laughs> so I like to make sure to wash everything before I leave it in my house for too long so um, I went through everything first and I actually got rid of three pieces that I didn't need or just weren't my style and I put them in my donation box so I can donate those to um, a local women's shelter that has a thrift store 
But anyways, so all these things I'm showing you were $5, not including the stuff I got rid of. So it was amazing prices. But anyways, this is a white tree. Um, and it has a floral design. I love this and I believe they hung it up because they have wires here on the back. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I just think it is so, so pretty. The flowers are like embossed or engraved, however you want to say it. They're, oh, they're so, so pretty. I love this so much and even the edge has a beautiful design. And this again has absolutely nothing wrong with it. It has some kind of little tag here. Um, I can't really tell, I can't really tell what it says, and I doubt it's going to show up any better for you on camera, but I'll probably use uh, Google Lens to see if it's, um, like, old or whatever, but I'm guessing it is. It does look kind of vintage. I love Google Lens. A lot of you had commented and told me to use it, and I've used it before for, like, plants and stuff, but I never thought to use it for items especially like my vintage and antique stuff so i'm so glad y'all told me because now i look up stuff on google lens okay so next is another tray and this one is definitely a christmas theme it has ornaments here and a little teddy bear with the gifts so i will definitely be using this for christmas i actually have been finding christmas pieces as i'm thrifting and i've been putting it all into a pile so that i can share it around christmas time so i'll have to add this to that pile i usually save that stuff for that one christmas video but i wanted to show everything i got in the box <laughs> so i love this one i just think the little teddy bear is so cute and then the back of it, it has like that embossed filling on it. It's really, really nice. And again, absolutely nothing wrong with this. Okay, so that was the last thing in that box. And I believe that I had three pieces that I got rid of. One of them was like a microwave tray, so <laughs> I don't need that. Um, and then the other two things just weren't my style. So uh, that makes three pieces that I got rid of. So I got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces of really good quality, absolutely nothing wrong with it, vintage glassware for $5. What a steal. Okay, so now we're on to another box and everything in this box was $1. Now, um, this is a little bit different for me. I don't typically get like clothing and purses and stuff. Um, when I go to estate sales, for some reason when I go to the clothes, it's always hanging in their closet and it's kind of sad to me because Usually estate sales are because someone has passed away. Not always. There is living estate sales, but I don't know. It just feels very personal to like go through their clothing. I'm not putting people down that do it. It's just me personally. I get a little bit emotional about it. So I typically don't shop the clothes, but um, this woman, she did recently pass away. She was someone's grandma, but she had really good taste in purses. And so they had a whole box of purses and they were all one dollar and the three i'm going to show you have tags on them they've never even been used um and then there was a couple that were damaged um i got rid of those and then some i just didn't like so i put them in the donation box i believe there was a total of about seven or eight purses for one dollar so <laughs> i got this one um this is eddie bauer brand and it has these animal prints on the front i really like these it's horses or zebras, I don't know, maybe a mix. <laughs> I really like these though. Just got some little handles and it has this little tag on it that has Eddie Bauer. And it's just a basic purse. There's really nothing that crazy about it, but I just liked it. I really like these colors. I thought that was really pretty. And in that same box, this was the main purse that caught my eye. It has this little tassel um, and then it has a long strap and the short straps. The brand is let me see what the brand is i'm not seeing a brand which that, that doesn't really matter to me but um i really like this purse it has three compartments and it was new with tags i actually had to take the plastic wrapper stuff off and i just think that is so pretty oh and such a good price this next one also had tags on it it's a crochet bag and it has these wood handles at the top and it's pretty deep um, and one of you had commented recently about how you were surprised that we still used plastic bags um, here in the area where I live because where they live, um, you didn't use them. And where I live, it's very common to use plastic bags, but I do want to get better about trying to use reusable just so I'm not making so much plastic. And honestly, it's really annoying to have that many plastic bags. I do use them for certain things and then 
Um, where my husband works, they have like a donation bin, or not a donation bin, a recycling bin for plastic bags. So he'll take a big load sometimes and go recycle them. But anyways, I thought I could use this for shopping because it's very deep and it feels very sturdy. Um, and this one, it makes me kind of sad, but this one, when I opened it, it was a gift to the woman um, who passed on and she had a note inside from, I'm guessing her grandkids saying, uh, well, it says grandma so it was from her grandkids but they were saying like we love you grandma happy birthday and so i just thought that was really sweet so this bag was bought with some really good intentions to their grandma and she never used it so i will be happy to use this for shopping okay so that was everything in that box that was one dollar <sighs> now we are getting to one of the most exciting boxes i'm so i'm so excited to show y'all Okay, so I have been looking for like doilies and tablecloths and all those things. They had an entire box of lace tablecloths. They were cream and white, so many doilies. You could tell some were handmade, some were bought. The whole box was $5. And I probably got rid of about 40% of the box just because they were too damaged or they weren't my style or there was just too many duplicates. I didn't need that many. So those are going to donation or trash if they were bad enough condition. But, oh my goodness, I am so excited. Okay, so I got this one here. It's just a small one. And I believe there's like four or five of these. So those will be great to put on, um, you know, shelves or tables or whatever. There was also these. And I don't know if these are napkins or if it's actually a handkerchief that you like put in your purse. But either way, I thought, can you imagine putting this in your purse and you just have like a little a little cloth napkin to have with you instead of tissues? I just think that would be so pretty. Oh my goodness. And there was, I believe, four of those. Then I got this one. It has this blue on it. And it's just a regular placemat size. It has a few stains and I washed them all in some OxyClean powder. That didn't seem to get everything out. So I'll probably have to go back through with my actual stain spray and spray certain ones. But I did do the first initial wash to kind of get, um, they had a bit of a dusty smell. So I did wash them all on delicate and I let them air dry. So that way they wouldn't have that smell anymore. And then this is a really big, tablecloth but just look at the design in it it's so pretty oh my goodness it's a rectangle one it is huge i know you probably can't see it that good and i'm trying to go decently fast with these so that way you don't get bored because there's a lot of them i may not show them all just because that might get kind of boring but here is another really large tablecloth it has this design on it oh look at this isn't it so pretty Oh, I am so excited to use these. This one has a bit of more, a bit more of a silkier feel, um, and then it just has the lace design. And I think this is a round one. Nope, it's not. It's a, it's a rectangle one. So we got that one, and I love this one too. It's got lace on the edges, and it is really, really big. A big rectangle one. And then I'm just gonna grab. Okay, this one is a runner. So it has a Christmas tree here on the ends with an angle and it's just a pretty large runner piece. And then another lace tablecloth that's really big. Um, a few more of those smaller doilies. These, some more small doilies. Oh, that's not all, there's still, there's still more back here. <laughs> and so I got these doilies and then I another big tablecloth and another big tablecloth and i also got a christmas themed um table runner that has like red on it i believe it had poinsettias on it but i'm saving that for that christmas thrift haul to share with y'all like all in one video when it gets close to christmas so that was all for that box five dollars for all of those what a great price and now i follow the lady who runs those estate sales on facebook so that way um she posts on there and tells when she's having another one because every time i go she has amazing prices so i am most definitely going to keep watching and i try to get there on opening day because everyone gets the stuff so quickly <laughs> Okay, so this is actually a piece I have been looking for, not this specific brand, but I have been wanting a glass pot. I was looking on Amazon and a glass pot is around $50 
for unbranded, just a regular small glass pot. This is vintage Pyrex and the handle here has a little latch and you can take it off. Isn't that cool? Um, and then it has a lid, so the lid latches in where you can get here and take it off. But this was $2 and I did look these up online. These are around $25 on like Etsy and eBay. I seen some pieces that looks like this might have went to a double boiler set. I'm not positive if it did, um, but I didn't see the other piece that went to it if it was that. So either way, I'm very happy with this. I really have been wanting a glass pot. So I'm so excited. $2, $2 for vintage Pyrex. That one was in a box, but I asked her if I could just buy that only. I didn't want all the other stuff and she said that was fine. So two bucks for that. If you have watched any of my videos, I have talked to you a little bit how I want to find some plates and or like a dishware set to where me and my husband can't break it. I don't know why, but we are so dangerous with glassware. So <laughs> I, uh, when I was growing up, my mom always had a Corel set because it was indestructible. You just could not break Corel brand. And I found a whole set of Corel for $10. It has the teacups, it has the saucers, it has the small salad plates, the dinner plates, the bowls, and they are all in great condition. I did look it up online. I believe it was called the Indian Summer Design, so it is vintage, and I felt like all of them were for $10 was a really good price, and I'm excited to try them out and see if they really are less apt to break because we're just dangerous with stuff. But these are, designs on them are so pretty. It fits right into the cottage theme. And I just feel like $10 for all of it is such a great price. So this next piece that I'm sharing with you, oh my goodness, when I seen it, I was so excited. It is this huge picture. It has this dark, moodier themed floral design. It's a vintage gold frame and it was $10. And for the size that it is, I feel like $10 was a really, really good price, and I cannot wait to decorate with this. All of these colors are just something that I wanna bring into my home. I love that moodier cottage, English cottage kind of feel, and it just fits in with that Victorian kind of feeling that I'm wanting in my house. Oh, I cannot wait to use this somewhere. I don't know which room I'm gonna put it in, but I am definitely, definitely gonna put it somewhere where I feel like it's a feature <laughs> on the wall. These next two things were such amazing prices. Oh my goodness, I got these two lamps and they were $5 a piece. They both work, I tried them. The first one is a cream color and a goldish brass color. And these are pretty large lamps. So I feel like the shades alone are worth more than $5. Like lamp shades are oddly pretty expensive. I don't really get that, <laughs> but they are high. So. Five dollars for these lamps and they are vintage I can tell just by the plugs they have that like older look the next lamp five dollars I looked it up online it is four hundred dollars online and I believe mine is actually in better shape than the one that I found online now I don't want to sell it it is staying in my home because I love it <laughs> But the crystal of it and the lampshade, the little beads from it all fits in with that like Victorian slash grandma core um, style that's going around. I personally love that. Like I am fine with my house looking like a grandma. I think that's a beautiful style. I loved my granny's house growing up and this is how she decorated things. But I cannot believe that the lamp was $5. I feel like even for any kind of lamp to be even $20 is probably a pretty good deal, but these are actually pretty large and them being older makes them a little bit more valuable. Now the brass and cream one, I Google lensed it and I couldn't find anything like it. So I don't know much about it or what it's worth or anything, but regardless, it I love it and it's gonna go in my home. Okay, y'all, so that is everything that I purchased recently at some estate sales. I really hope that you enjoyed watching, and if you want to comment below and tell me some pieces that you found at an estate sale that you love, I would be so excited to know what that is. But I hope that you're having a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is that you're watching this. God bless each and every one of you, and I will see you next time. Bye!